Six people have died from this hysteria outbreak of ready to eat meals, and here's why I almost never eat these types of foods. Food can get contaminated at many stages of the life cycle, from farm, processing, distribution, restaurants, retail stores, and down even into our own homes. But with ready to eat meals, there's an additional step of risk because those companies are using multiple distribution companies to then prepackage and assemble these meals and then send them out to retail stores where we actually consume them. So in this outbreak, the distributor of pasta, which would pre-cook this pasta and then send it to another company that would assemble these ready-to-eat meals was the source of listeria contamination. So how often does listeria contamination of ready-to-eat meals actually happen? Well, in 2017, there was a study done across four U.S. states that sampled 27,000 ready-to-eat meals, and they found that 102 of them, about 0.4%, tested positive for listeria. Now, I know this actually might sound like a really low level of listeria contamination, but if you're eating one of these foods every single day, that risk could actually add up. And the risk of listeria contamination was not equal across all types of ready-to-eat meals. Different types of food products had higher rates of listeria contamination. But the good news from the study is that they actually showed that there has been a decrease of listeria contamination from over a decade ago due to better regulation of these types of food. So how do we actually make the ready-to-eat meal proof pasta safer? Well, we need more regulations. And in 2022, the USDA's National Advisory Committee on Microbiological Criteria for Foods, which comprises food science experts, created an updated document for ready-to-eat meals about how to test and regulate this actual process of ready-to-eat meals better. And just to note, this committee was cut this year under the current administration due to staffing cuts. The committee actually pointed out hazard points of when, where, and how testing should be routinely done on ready-to-eat meals, which was then later adopted by the FDA and the US. SDA, which played a role in probably detecting this outbreak that we're currently seeing. For example, they point out that even if there is a cooking step after cooking it, holding it within a company can then cause contamination that can then be sent out to another company that actually makes the meal. So there is a higher level of risk for contamination. So how do we actually make this process safer? Well, we should be investing in surveillance systems that specifically test for listeria across the United States. We should be investing in actual staffing of the FDA that performs the inspections of these facilities and a Broad, and we should actually be investing in scientific innovation to make the testing and regulation process safer for everybody. So yes, these foods are super convenient and regulation has improved and we've seen a decrease of contamination, but there is still a higher risk compared to just using raw ingredients that you can buy at a grocery store, assembling them in your own home where you can actually control the level of contamination.